This is artist Esther L. Jones, and it is time again for PJ Talk, which stands for Pajama Time Art Live Chat. Yeah, so we're going to talk about art tonight, just like we have the last couple of weeks. So uh, let me just uh, tell you what I'm drinking tonight. I am drinking Coco Lavender Herbal Chai Tea from Plum Deluxe. And um, it is a delicious and caffeine-free, relaxing uh, bit of yumminess. Yay. Okay, so my day today um, was actually very relaxed. I had to go get the car maintained. It needed oil. Uh, it's got a little squeal in it that um, needs to be addressed, and I thought maybe fi doing the oil would fix that, but it didn't. And then the rest of the day, I pretty much got to work on stuff in the studio. It turned out that the studio, um, cleaning pastels takes a long time. So um, you, you have to go through and wipe each one. If you just throw them back in the box then um, the, co the colors from your fingers cake on there pretty bad and you can't tell what color they are. So by the time I finish with one painting, it's time again for me to you take those that I just used for the painting, clean them up, put them back in my color palette in the, its proper place. So I actually spent a lot of time doing that today. And then I put down an underpainting on my next piece. And uh, that I then, because it was wet, it the paper curled. UART has a tendency to do that. The paper curled a bit. So then I had to wet it down and put it under a flat surface so it could... Um, uh, even out. So, yes, uh, I see a couple of people have popped on. Be sure that you uh, drop your name in the chat and I will give you a shout out. And uh, again, this is artist Esther L. Jones, and I call this little time that we have together on weeknights Pajama Time Art Live Chat. And it's all about the life of an artist and the ins and outs of being an artist. So up until um, this tonight, we've been talking about the fact that in art, it's not what you know, it's what you believe. And so... We're going to finish that off tonight unless you come up with some other um, thoughts that you'd like to share about that. Um, let's go over what we've talked about so far. Number one, we talked about the fact that, let me get my little props out here. We talked about the fact that this doesn't matter. This doesn't, it doesn't matter as far as your ability to draw or to do art. This doesn't matter. This doesn't matter. As far as your ability to do art, I know multiple artists whose teacher said they would never make it in the art world and they are full-time artists now. So your art teacher, what they said, doesn't matter. I tried, but it was awful. Yeah, the first time you try something, it's going to be awful. It's not ever going to be right. So I tried, but it was awful. That doesn't matter either. I don't have talent. Malarkey. Excuse my hoiding little French here, but malarkey. You do have talent. 
you just haven't stirred it up. So this doesn't matter either. And then we talked about what does matter. We talked about that courage matters. You have to be brave and ready to try something. We talked about that curiosity matters. You have to be willing to ask, what if I try this? We talked about determination. Determination not to let the first time you try something and fail stop you from trying again. And then a very important part is a sense of play. After that, I taught you how to draw a stick man. So you can never ever go up to another artist and say, oh, I wish I could do what you can do, but I can't even draw a stick man. Well, now you can. You just have to go watch my video from Monday night, or was it Tuesday night? And you can replay it over and over again until you can draw a pretty fancy stick man. Mine has shoes and hands. And even you could think of this as a nose, I guess, or something. <laughs> so pretty fancy stick man. So, and then we talked about what have you tried? What have you tried to become more of an artist? Um, that you maybe wanted or have a little inner wish to be. So those are all the things we've talked about. Um, and so tonight I would like to just discuss briefly, um, so do some brainstorming, have a little curiosity, and just think about this for a minute. Let's imagine money is no issue. You are independently wealthy and don't have to worry about how much you spend. Time is not an issue. You have all the time in the world. You uh, are independently wealthy, so you don't have to go to work. Uh, and you don't have any responsibilities. You can do with your time what you want to. And you cannot fail. All right. You can't fail at this. If those three things were true, what art would you do? What art would you do? If you have an answer, go ahead and drop that in the chat. I would like to know. Um, and I'm just going to go through and just name some different kinds of art that you may not have thought of. Maybe you did. Maybe it's just something like painting, painting with oils, painting with acrylics, painting with inks, uh, painting with uh, colors from the earth. I know people who actually just use dirt and they find different colors of dirt and they add water and then they paint. They make beautiful art that way. So be curious, what if I might be painting, it might be sculpture. Maybe you would love to get your hands into some clay and build something beautiful or something that caused people to really think about something. Or maybe you just like to go to the dump ground and start gathering stuff up and build something wacky and strange. That's still art. Um, what else? Fiber arts, crochet, knitting, applique, quilting, all those things, design, uh, fashion design, fabric design. Those kinds of things, that's all art. What would you get into? What about jewelry? A lot of people are into jewelry right now. Maybe just stringing beads, but maybe actually finding out how to smelt the metals and create them into 
uh, original designs with beautiful diamonds or gems of some kind, would you do that? Would that be interesting to you? And you could start with simple beads and then get more um, knowledgeable. What else? Um, let's go for music. What about music? Music is art. It's considered part of the fine arts. Would you play an instrument? Would you write songs? Would you be um, an audio tech where you're actually doing the mixing and um, the studio work? That's that's an art too. You have to make that person sound um, authentic and real and get the feel that they want. So that's artistic as well. Um, music, learn an instrument, write your own songs, that sort of thing. What else? What about writing? Uh, have you thought about writing? Whether you would write fiction, nonfiction, what uh, poetry, children's books, all of those are art. They are creativity. Does any of that make you think that you might want to do that? So remember, we're we're telling ourselves we're not say we're not using the but we're not using the but word, right? We're not saying, well, I would do this, but we're not saying that, right? We're just going ahead and imagining that there's nothing to hold you back. What would it be? All right. I don't have anybody dropping that in the chat. I want to tell you that when you do drop it in the chat, don't you be surprised if a year from now you look back and you go, oh, my goodness, it happened. I did the thing. Because once you put it out there where your eyes can see it and your ears can hear it and you're um, faced with the truth that you have a creative interest, you would be surprised what will happen. And you very well may end up with uh, an artistic um practice that you never expected. All right. Well, we're getting close to the end of the week. I'm just going to remind you that we are doing this weeknights at 8 p.m. Central. And I will be back on Monday night here on Facebook and on YouTube. And I would love, love, love for this to be a conversation, not just me sipping tea and talking my head off. I've been struggling this week. Um, well, actually, I've been struggling for a while with uh, getting in my art time every day. I used to be really disciplined about it. But it's been with with my whole job situation and, and stuff going on. Um, thanks COVID. I, uh, have had trouble getting to my art. So I think next week we're going to talk about finding time for your creative pursuits, how to do that. Um, some, some really good tips or ideas for, um, working that into your life routines. And maybe that'll encourage me to work mine in regardless of all the chaos surrounding me. And then unless, of course, you come up with some kind of a comment or observation that sparks and inspires a different topic for next week. I'd love to hear what your ideas are for these little talks. And in the meanwhile, I pray that you will see the music and hear the colors and awaken the wonders of creativity in your own self. And have a wonderful weekend. And I will see you back here on Monday night. Good night.